being healthy is something we're always encouraged to do. But how can we be healthy? It all starts with creating healthy habits. Healthy habits can make you feel stronger and happier. Think of your body and mind like a car. A car needs good quality fuel to run well. You can't put in soft drink and expect it to run smoothly, can you? Just like a car, you need to fuel your body and mind with really good, nourishing foods, thoughts and actions that will make it function well. But what's a habit? A habit is created when you do something repeatedly until it becomes natural. Having healthy habits can help you to feel strong, create good relationships with people around you, help you concentrate better in class, and give you the daily boost you need to do all the things you love. One of the most important healthy habits to have is healthy eating. Healthy eating is all about feeding your body fresh and nutritious foods. This should include colourful vegetables, fruits and nuts, grains, legumes, dairy, and lean meats and fish. Even though all these foods are good for us, there are still some that we should eat lots of, and some we should limit. We should eat lots of vegetables, legumes, and grains. But we should eat lean meats, dairy, and fruits and nuts in moderate amounts, which means not heaps and heaps. There are some foods that should only be a sometimes treat because they're not very good for us and have very little nutritional value, like sugary or fatty foods and drinks. And of course, we should drink plenty of water every single day. When you combine healthy foods with physical activity, it will help you to feel healthy. Did you know children your age should be active for at least 60 minutes a day? Another healthy habit is getting lots of sleep. Sleep allows us to restore, repair and rebuild all of the things in our body, including our brain. Make sure you're getting 10 hours of sleep a night and you'll find yourself feeling fresh and ready to make the most out of every day. Here are four ways you can build healthy habits. Eat the fruit and vegetable rainbow. Even though you may not be in charge of the grocery shopping, you can always make your own healthy choices. Maybe you could choose to drink water instead of a soft drink or juice when you feel thirsty. Buy a piece of fruit instead of sweets from the canteen or have some salad with dinner. Simple choices like that can make a huge difference to your health. Eating a variety of fruits and vegetables that are full of different colours is super important because they all help your body in different ways. So, try and have as many colours as you can every day. Sleep well. Nothing should interfere with your sleep. Not even your homework should keep you up longer than you need to be. So, make sure you plan your time well so you can complete it before bed. Try to keep a good bedtime routine. Going to bed at the same time each night is great for your body and can make going to sleep easier. Keep any phones, tablets and other devices out of your bedroom when it's bedtime. Make your bedroom a place that feels relaxing to you. This means it should be comfortable, quiet and dark when it's time to sleep. Get active. It doesn't require you to change your entire day. In fact, it's really easy and you might not even realise you're doing it. Playing at lunchtime School sports, riding your bike, or even going for a swim are all examples of exercise that can make up your 60 minutes. 
If you can minimize the time you spend in front of a screen, you might find yourself spending more time with your friends and moving around. Last but not least, find a balance. Going to extremes, whether it's with your diet, exercise, or sleep, isn't necessary. You can enjoy a bit of everything. So, find a healthy balance of sleep, play, food, water, school, and social time. When you combine healthy eating, physical activity, plenty of sleep, and lots of water, you will have the power and energy to be your best. Plus, you'll discover that as you get older, you'll need these healthy habits because they're important no matter how old you are. So, why not start now?